back everybody. Um, it's Gina. Um, I've got a design team project for Tracy Fox who is Love Junk Journals on Etsy. Um, but before I get started, you'll hear I've got my printer going in the background. I'm printing out a couple more of these sheets. Um, before I get started, I wanted to thank everybody for such a great um, response to my Get to Know Me video. Uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate uh, all of you taking the time to leave me such wonderful comments because I was extremely nervous about going on in front of the camera, but you guys just have made me feel just amazing. So thank you so much for that. Um, welcome to all my new subscribers. Um, yeah, it's just that was very, very um helpful getting the feedback from you guys on going forward. Uh, I haven't, you know, got everything worked out yet, but I do have a pretty good idea of how, you know, I want to, um, the way, the direction I want to go with the channel. So that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. So today, um, this is not my idea. This was inspired by Angela Kerr, um, and she's got a YouTube channel here. I've mentioned Angela several times before, but I'm going to put her um, link to the tutorial of, the, of today's project because she is the one that inspired me to do this. Um, so check her out. Angela is super, super talented. If you haven't already discovered her, um, oh wow, she's amazing. Um, so she did a, um altered envelope, and so I just thought, this paper from Tracy's um, shop, and I'll put the link below to this kit. Um, these are her collage sheets, and I'm sorry about right now, I can't think of the name of them, but I will put the link below to Tracy's shop. I thought this would just make a really nice uh, compliment to this idea of Angela's. So what I've done is... A while back I got these handmade paper um, envelopes and they're pretty big and that's it looked about the size of uh, what Angela used so I grabbed this out and I had went ahead and what I do is I fold it and then I kind of cut down the middle but do it at just a very slight angle because that way when it's when you close it you've got that just that little bit of space and it, it still looks nice I think um, and I just inked it up lightly because I didn't want it too dark but I love these papers and hopefully that will be the end of the print yeah that's that's good okay so these are some of the papers here um, just one second welcome back everybody um, it's Gina um, I've got a design team project for Tracy Fox, who is Love Junk Journals on Etsy. Um, but before I get started, you'll hear, I've got my printer going in the background, I'm printing out a couple more of these sheets. Um, before I get started, I wanted to thank everybody for such a great um, response to my Get to Know Me video. Uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate uh, all of you taking the time to leave me such wonderful comments because I was extremely nervous about going on in front of the camera, but you guys just have made me feel just amazing. So thank you so much for that. Um, welcome to all my new subscribers. Um, yeah, it's just, that was very, very um, helpful getting the feedback from you guys on going forward. Uh, I haven't, you know, got everything worked out yet, but I do have a pretty good idea of how you know, I want to, um, the way, the direction I want to go with the channel. So that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. So today, um, this is not my idea. This was inspired by Angela Kerr, um, and she's got a YouTube channel here. I've mentioned Angela several times before, but I'm going to put her, um, link to the tutorial of, the, of today's project because she is the one that inspired me to do this. Um, so check her out. Angela is super, super talented. If you haven't already discovered her, um, oh wow, she's amazing. Um, so she did a um, altered envelope 
And so I just thought this paper from Tracy's um, shop, and I'll put the link below to this kit. Um, these are her collage sheets, and I'm sorry about right now, I can't think of the name of them. But I will put the link below to Tracy's shop. I thought this would just make a really nice uh, complement to this idea of Angela's. So what I've done is, a while back I got these handmade paper um, envelopes, and they're pretty big, and that's it looked about the size of uh, what Angela used. So I grabbed this out. And I had went ahead, and what I do is I fold it, and then I kind of cut down the middle, but do it at just a very slight angle, because that way, when it's when you close it, you've got that just that little bit of space, and it, it still looks nice, I think. Um, and I just inked it up lightly because I didn't want it too dark. But I love these papers, and. Hopefully that will be the end of the print. Yeah, that's that's good. Okay, so these are some of the papers here. Um, just one second. Okay, guys. Whew, that turned into quite a task. Um, yeah, I just went over to cut these, and um, yeah, I just uh, went pear-shaped. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to ink these up a little bit. I've got an idea on how I want to use these, but that could change, as you know. Um, so while I had the camera off, rather than you know stopping and starting, I went ahead and stitched in the little papers. So it's forming a nice little book there, and uh, I like yeah I like the feel of that. It's, it's nice. Okay, so let's finish off the front here. Um, let me just pin that a little bit. And I decided, instead of putting a, a name, I generally do that. I'm, this is one of Tracy's tiny embellishments. I'm just going to cut out that little butterfly and put that in the center of that, and then I'll attach it with some brads, and then we can just start making little things to fill it up. I'll probably do that off camera, because as I said, this isn't really a tutorial, because Angela's done a great job on her site, so you can follow her tutorial. Okay, so now let's just get that put on on a couple of brads in there. So I've um, decided to go home in December, yay, <laughs> um, and now I'm starting to get a little list going of the things I want to pick up, and um, one thing that I absolutely have to go <coughs> to Hobby Lobby is the big paper, 12 by 12 paper packs that are kind of, they're thicker than um, copy paper, but they're not like cardstock, and I'm desperate for some of those in the vintage patterns. So that's one thing. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I've got all this stuff from the crafting unit, or not the crafting, my storage unit that I want to bring. And... Um, so, 
Ugh, it's weight. And I'm not sure that anybody's got a scale. So I can check the weight on my bag. Because um, what I've decided to do is go in and see um, my daughter and my dad. And then my son's coming down for Christmas. And then I'm going to ride back up with him to Washington, D.C. Because he's just got his own place. He's been living in D.C. for four years now, but he's been rooming with a friend of his. And um, he's just got his first apartment, so I just there's no way I can go home and not go see that. I'm so excited for him. He's worked really, really hard. Um, so I'm anxious to go up there. <coughs> but... Now I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to end up, I can see what's going to happen. I'm going to end up paying excess baggage fees because I'll probably end up with it super heavy because um, I'm bringing back two bags. I've already decided, oh heck, I'm just going to pay and because it's cheaper. It's cheaper for me to do that than buying the stuff here. So what I thought here, I thought that might be pretty. If I can get it to work, it might not. Add a little bit more. That one would work, I think. Just along the edge, kind of. I'm going to do it. It's a little bit short, but that's okay. I just think that looks kind of pretty as a, a little decorative edge there. started keeping some of these um, kind of like old rags in my space because I'm forever getting glue, <laughs> glue everywhere. So now there will be a pocket there and then I, I think I'll do something, maybe add a little pocket or something inside there with some of the extra papers. But over here, let's see if I can make one of these. See. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to cut it to where it will fit there. So I think that is quite pretty. So. what else it needs. I had these left over. I think maybe, yeah, I'm going to do that. Let me get a little bit of cheesecloth to put behind there. This is the, um, I bought this over here, um, it's the unbleached cheesecloth that you use, you know, in the kitchen. And I like it because it's so nicer. I don't like the really <coughs> white cheesecloth that you get. I think the last time I bought it was, um... Walmart and it was so white. I didn't really like that. So So last night, my husband surprised me, and um, he's just completed his coach driver training here, um, and he passed his test yesterday, and he got home, and he said, oh, you didn't get my message. He said, 
I wanted to see if he wanted to go out for Indian tonight. And I was like, oh yeah. Because um, I'd never had Indian food until I came here. And um, when I first tried it, I wasn't that crazy about it. <clears throat> but I think it was the place that I had it at. The first experience wasn't great. Um, but we found a place where we lived prior to here. And oh my gosh, it's amazing. It is such good food. So now, it's not something that I like to have a lot of, but I'd say about once every three months, maybe four months, we um, we like to go up there, and it is really, really nice. So that was such a treat. I was really, really not expecting to do that. Okay, so there we are. Let me um, let me pause at this point and gather up some little things and we'll finish this off. Be right back. Okay guys, here we go. This is completed now. So I've filled it in with a few bits and pieces. Um, most of this is Tracy's from her shop. She's got the little cigarette cards and labels. She's got lots of labels in her shop. And then when you open it up, I just, um, I haven't put anything in the two large pockets, but here I just took the left leftover papers, backed them onto some cardstock, and then added a label to it so that maybe write the date there and then do some journaling on the back. And I just added some more of the little tiny embellishments. And then you got lots of little, you know, just papers for journaling and then here I just did a little bit of an embellishment there and then here same thing just what was left over I wanted to make use of all of the, the uh, bits of paper because they are beautifully collaged so there you go it's a really quick um, and easy and then that's the back of it and it's just I think this will be nice because it's not too bulky um, it could be tucked into a pocket within a journal, and I'm probably going to add this to the um, I don't know, I'll see, I might add it inside of this one, it depends because I've kind of got my theme started on this one um, I'll just give you a little peek inside, these are some of the papers that I've chosen, I just haven't sewn it in, but I probably will add that because I want this to be a real vintage um, journal. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much uh, for stopping by today um, and being patient with me. It was a bit of a, a mix up there, I, I wasn't really prepped for it, but, anyways, I just wanted to show you that's just another way, um, you know, that you can use those envelopes and I love that idea of turning it into a small journal so thank you Angela for sharing that you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you back next week take care